Brewers and Mets. Game two of this best of three wild card series is around the corner. The towels are going. Everybody on their feet. Playoff baseball at its best. Frankie Montas gets the ball for the Brewers. He can be erratic. The walk rate can get him in trouble, but he also has the potential to be a big time strikeout pitcher. The door makes his way to the plate. And that one is inside it missed. Ball four in a really good eye and a tough take from Lindor. So Iglesias the batter. Montas deals. Swing and a bouncing ball. Shortstop Hall. Adamas has it to second one. Return to first. Safe. I don't know too many hitters who get a better break out of the box than Jose Iglesias does. Vientos taps one softly to third. Charging in. Ortiz tried to bear him. Couldn't do it. And it'll be an infield single. And now there's two aboard in front of Nimmo with one out. The one one. Hit on the ground to the right side, and it gets through. Iglesias around third. On his way to the plate, he's going to score. Throw to third. Vientos is in. It's an RBI single for Nimmo, and the Mets jump in front one to nothing. Granite just pounds this thing into the ground, but somehow snuck it by Hoskins, diving to his right. And they look for more. Here's Alonzo. And a ground ball to short. Adamas dives, goes to Terang, one to first. It's a double play. 6-4-3. The Brewers turn it. Alonzo fell down coming out of the batter's box. And the Brewers get two. Could have been a lot worse for Frankie Montas. Sean Mania just what a meteoric rise in the second half. And he's adjusted big time sinker. That's the pitch that has made the difference for him. Churio two for four in his postseason debut, including an RBI. Fly ball right field. Hit a ton. We're tied. Jackson Churio, his first postseason home run, ties this game in the bottom of the first. The 20 year old knocks it out of the park. The opposite way. All season long, he just kept getting better and better and more improved to using the whole field with authority. First home run of the series for either team. And right back with the 0 1. He hits one high in the air to shallow left. Lindor out. Nimmo in. It's Nimmo's ball, and Brandon makes the one hand catch. So one out. William Contreras coming up. And that one hit hard up the middle and a base hit. It's a one out single for Contreras. He hit that hard on the ground. The 0 2 pitch. In there, strike three called. He put a fastball at the top of the zone, but right down the middle, and Adamas stared at it. Well, Gary Sanchez, the batter, he's the designated hitter. The payoff pitch to Sanchez. In there, strike three called, side retired. And that ends the first inning, but the Brewers tie it up. Batter will be Starling Marte. Hit on the ground towards first. Hoskins has it. Long toss off the glove of Montas, and Marte will stay put at first. Well, this is absolutely an E1. You know, you go back to the big fifth inning the Mets had in game one. Mistakes by the pitching led to a huge inning. So this is something uncharacteristic of the Brewers. No they, doubt. they pride themselves on their defense. The numbers back up that they're really good at it. And that one softly hit out into left center field. Adamas chasing it'll fall for him. It's a bloop single there for Tyrone Taylor, the former Brewer. And their runners at first and third with one out. And Francisco Alvarez coming up. Now the pitch to him. Swing and a liner to left center field. That's a base hit. In the score is Marte. Taylor going to third. Alvarez's helmet went flying off as he rounded first, but he's aboard with an RBI single. The Mets are leading by a score of two to one. And again, they have come right back answering an opposition's run. Back to the top of the order for Lindor. He swings here and skies one out towards left center. Churio settles under it. Tagging at third is Taylor, and the Mets have a 3-1 advantage. Bryce Terang will lead things off against Sean Manaya. That one up the middle of the base hit. And Terang and the Brewers in business to start up the third. And he's turning it over for the young guy, 20-year-old Jackson Churio. Dotted up inside corner, got him looking. What a pitch. 96 on the black. Oh, that baby was there. Right on the inside edge. And he got him looking for his third strikeout, first out of the inning. On the ground, Lindor dives. And then shovels it over to second, but safe at second is Terang. Wow. I mean, that Lindor even turned that into a play, I mean, and then Terang showing off the speed. And here's Contreras, who had the single back in the first, and everybody on their feet. The towels are waving right now at American Family Field. Swing and a miss struck him out. A fastball just above the zone. Two on, two out. Here's Willie Adamas. Swinging a high fly ball, shallow center. Taylor racing in, settles under it. He makes the catch. 
inning over. Brewers get the tying runs on. Manaya into and out of trouble in the third. Taylor, couple of hits in the series now. He singled back in the second inning. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase down and away with a slider. Second strikeout of the outing for Frankie. And now here's Francisco Alvarez. Swing and a miss. Struck him out with a splitter. Third strikeout for Frankie, and here comes Pat Murphy to take the baseball from him. Murphy is not going to let Montas face Francisco Lindor. Trevor McGill will take over. Hard throwing right hand. 3 2, popped up. Out of the shallow left field. Churio coming on. And he makes the catch. And McGill able to get Lindor. So it's Iglesias for the Mets in this fifth. That one in there called strike three, and Iglesias is gone. Well, it's one thing to throw 100 and 101 miles an hour. It's another thing to put it right on the black. Jack Swain, did he go? Yes, he did. Vic Carapazza rings him up. Back-to-back -back K's for Trevor McGill. The pitch. Struck him out with a curveball. McGill strikes out the side. Crowd coming alive as we go to the bottom of the fifth inning. The Brewers are chasing a couple of runs. Rice Terang leads off. And it's on the ground. A fair ball inside the bag. It's a leadoff double for Bryce Terang, his third double in two games. Bryce Terang stands at third with less than two outs. Big chance for Blake Perkins. Perkins, a drive into the gap in left center. Taylor's going to run it down and make the catch. But coming down the line to score is Bryce Terang, and it's a one-run game. Well, Taylor got a great jump on that ball, but it's a sack fly for Blake Perkins. That looked like it was a gapper all the way. William Contreras would try and restart something for the Brewers. On the ground, Lindor kicks it. Picks it back up, throw to first, dug out by Alonso. What a play. Pete Alonso saves Lindor after the bobble. To keep Adamas from coming to the plate in this fifth inning. Sean Manaya getting the hugs, so looks like he is done for the day. Five innings, two earned, and Yoel Piomps will take over. Check swing, roller back to the mound. Piomps throws the first, and Alvarez is out, and now it's second and third for Lindor. And they are going to intentionally walk Francisco Lindor. Here comes Candelita, and he will try to make Pat Murphy pay, just as he did for taking Peralta out last night. So, base is loaded, two out. And he struck him out swinging. Went right back to that sinker and strikes out Iglesias to strand the Mets with the bases loaded. There's one away for Brandon Nimmo. The 1-0 pitch is a bouncer on the left side. Fielded by Ortiz. Spins. Throws to first in time. Oh, that was nifty. Joey Ortiz. There are two away for Pete Alonso. Broken bat. Soft liner. Fair ball base hit. Out into right field. Here's the 0-1, and a soft liner, and a jumping catch by Ortiz at third, and the inning is over. Ortiz able to time his jump perfectly. And Phil Maton, the new pitcher for the Mets. Jackson Churio leads it off against Maton. Fly ball, right field, it is deep, it is gone! We are tied in the eighth inning on the second homer of the night from Jackson Churio. I mean, just prodigious power to the opposite field and gets power. He knew it, and this did not scrape any wall, but the wall to the upper deck. Ultra talented Jackson Churio. No moment too big for that 20-year-old. 3-3 three, three in the eighth. Still one and two on Willie Adamas. The pitch. Hit towards left, a base hit. Willie Adamas, his first hit of the postseason this year. Still alive as Garrett Mitchell comes to the plate. The pitch, swing and a fly ball. Right center field. It is up and is gone! Off the top of the wall and out of here! Garrett Mitchell, a go-ahead two-run home run in the bottom of the eighth inning. Churio ties it. Mitchell gives the Brewers the lead. Right off the top of the fence and out. And the Brewers have the lead. It's 5-3. And this place has come unglued. We go to the ninth inning. Devin Williams going to try and send this ball game to tomorrow. And Devin Williams, just like that, on just four pitches, has recorded two outs. And he will face Jesse Winker as a pinch hitter. Lined out towards left center. Churio is there. 
Game three is on the way tomorrow. From off the mat, the Brewers score three times in the bottom of the eighth inning. And game three is coming to Milwaukee tomorrow night. 5-3, your final score.